Hi, this is Vanessa Marshall. I play Harrison Gula on Star Wars Rebels, and you're watching The Cybernerds. Fan for life. May the Force be with you. We are live. Guys, I'm Revenue GS. I'm Joe, one further the Cybernerds. And this is another episode of Civ Temple. And today, we're finally getting there. We're getting there, guys, with the 12th episode of so this is the 12th Rebels. One. This is the 12th episode? Yes, the 12th. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, wolves and a door is called. Now, we've just seen this. And I had a couple of reactions from Joe. And I just want to know what's going on. This is the best episode since the break. Probably one of the contenders for best episode of the season. I was about to say that. Probably one of the episodes for contenders. Like, for it. the levels are up there. See, do you know what I mean? Episodes like this piss me off. Because... They're really good, yeah, mm. but it makes me think that for the rest of the season, they're just slacking that. Like, they do this on purpose. Do you know what I'm saying? There's, there's not one line of filler in this. This is all, we're getting straight to the point. Straight. There's a point in this episode where I was like, oh my God, they're going to deviate away from what we really want right now right. And, and give us something that we don't want. Like, because the, the part where um, Ezra's by the door mm -hmm. and the stormtroopers come over, in my head, I was like, this is just usually where we'd all walk off together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and leave something. Ezra, yeah. But they stick with it. Mm -hmm. And it's just boom, boom, boom. Introduce a new character. I can't remember his name. Um, but I'm interested in who this character is. The older guy who's like trying to figure out what all of these, oh, okay. these things the, mean. Oh, like a commission or something. Yeah, yeah. so because like... like um, uh, who said it? Sabine said, I've never seen a, an Imperial officer like that. Right. Now, I'm really interested in like, see, who I, he is and see, where he's I from. Don't think, I don't think uh, he's, he's like, a, uh, like a military No, he's definitely not. Definitely not. Like that. I just think he's just someone who's under the payroll of Palpatine, which we saw him coming through this episode. Yeah. All right. And... Is just there strictly for the artifacts, and we've seen the way he was talking about artifacts. He said, Yo, don't touch these, mm -hmm. okay? These, these are not of your concern. Yeah. I deal with, with this. No, but this is why that interests me because this right. is the first time in Star Wars canon mm -hmm. we've seen that Palpatine's got guys out here who study Jedi right. temples, Jedi artifacts, like and the gods, bruv, yeah, yeah, Jedi gods, bruv, like or force gods or whatever, fam. Mm -hmm. that, that I know, like. That's groundbreaking yeah. for yeah. Star Wars, oh, fam. Do you know what I'm absolutely. saying? Like, yeah. So that's why I'm interested in him because I'm like, if he's got this guy, he must have guys like this at every Jedi temple they've found out. Do you know what I'm saying? Or maybe that's the guy who's been at every Jedi temple trying to figure out, like, maybe this is the guy who helped Palpatine get to where he is from understanding the Jedi ways and how to manipulate and trick oh, these guys, absolutely. fam. Now, see, um, it, is, it is definitely groundbreaking and new to the to the to the Star Wars, well, especially the animated series or even movies. Now, the only time I've uh, encountered, uh, you know, these specific people mm -hmm. who's into that artifacts, it's it's only in the books. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the fact that they went to get that and introduce it to us in, uh, here is 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 phenomenal. Now, I, can I, I'm not no, that going in, fam. Go on. So. This episode guarantees to me two things, yeah? Okay. That either Ezra is... G Ezra's going to die, yeah? Now, or... Yeah, no, I know Kanan yeah. died two episodes ago. Yeah. And, yeah. and now already, I've just moved on to... already just moving who, on to the next, next going to die? Kanan, I mean, Ezra's either going to die or he's going to become a loaf wolf or he's going to become some sort of force mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why is, yeah, I've been telling you about this owl... This Ahsoka owl mm -hmm. for ages, bro. Right. right. So the owl is with the sister, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that the wolves were over there with the brother. Mm -hmm. Like in the in the picture, the wolves were in the corner next mm -hmm. to the brother. Hopefully, that's not a connection. <clears throat> Hopefully, they're just saying on different planets or blah blah blah. There's different animals that connect with the force different right. ways. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? But I think Ezra's on the path of becoming one of these things, fam. Oh my because. Day. In the beginning, when he just calls the walls, I'm like, yo, this kid Ezra taps into some next force powers man's never seen, mm -hmm. never heard of. Mm -hmm. Bruh, like he like he can't just be a like he can't be roaming the streets 
when Empire Strikes Back happens, fam. He can't just be out there, fam. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way, fam. Something oh. has to happen to him, fam. All right. So let me let me start off with the owl. All right. So uh, this is the Mortis Gods, and we have the the light side, the which sister. is which is the sister. You have the middle, which is the dad, so the balance. the balance, and then you have the dark side, which is the brother. Fam, Pete. Let me just but the the light side. The open hand. Do you know what I'm saying? Like someone wanted to shake your hand. Welcome it. The balance. Hand straight up. Dark side. Fist, Fist. closed. Yeah. This is just too much. Like, Go on, sorry, carry on. Let me so, not interrupt. Um, and you mentioned Ahsoka having that owl. That that owl used to follow Ahsoka around everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So like, so where is so she left the Jedi? So is that a sign? When when she left the Jedi, uh huh, I think. No, okay. The owl came after, after. that. After. No, it came that. after. It came after that. But the Mortis episode mm-hmm. where she went onto she, the planet yeah. and remember she died she, and was brought back to back. life. Yeah. Like, I think that's where the connection must have started. Maybe. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? For me. Get me. So, that's that's that. Now, with with the wolves, and, and you might be onto something. See, to me, it was... The, the whole thing with the wolves and we spoke about it the the last the last ep- the last episode of Sith Temple is that um they knew something was going on and now we're brought into this place where people are messing up messing with the temple mm-hmm. which to me then I was like oh the reason why they were chasing up uh, Canaan is because they needed to to salvage and to get rid of these people from there before they break the code and get inside mm-hmm. the temple which we don't know what's inside there mm-hmm. like right now you know what I'm saying the guys um, last episode, um, Doom said there are secrets inside. Fam, you know what I'm saying. Man thinks that's a Jedi temple. That could be a Sith temple. Fam. I don't think. I don't think that. Yeah, like I don't know. I don't know. Bruv. I don't know. But then, but then, the the wolves are circling around, mm-hmm. which to me I was like, okay, the reason why you guys was chasing up all this time, Kanan, and and to get this this whole thing moving on is because you guys are the guardians. Mm-hmm. See, the wolf, lawfuls are the guardians of this temple. But then on, you just went on to say, yo, the owl was with the sister, but the wolves were Bruh. on the brother's side. So now I'm like... Bro, I will, no, I will back you uh-huh. on the... They might be the guardians of the temple, fam. But they make it very clear. And this is why I love rebels, yeah? What does man say? they like, oh... I'm, Zeb's like, oh, I'm glad the wolves are on our side. Yeah, and and Ezra that. comes straight back with, no, they're oh, on the no, side of lawful. That like fam. So, so if they deem you to be doing anything against low four fam, it's icy for you, fam. Mm-hmm. And with like, you know, forces, like planets have forces. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Some planets have good force, bad force, whatever, fam. Like this has changed my whole mind on where these wolves lay in this whole scenario, fam. Right. And there's, do you know what I'm saying? And there's times where they play friendly, and then times where fam. they want you to do something, they're quite aggressive. We've seen them fam. being aggressive uh, towards towards uh, Ezra. Uh, Ezra manipulating. Him to get to certain places. You know what I'm saying? So, what have we been talking about since now? If these men at Disney, like they Filoni and you man on, <laughs> on Lucas Ranch, shout out to you man, are as, they are as savage as I know they are, mm-hmm. yeah? But if they bring this thing back full circle, yeah? Mm-hmm. To like, the wolves are actually on the dark side mm-hmm. and this is where Ezra goes bad fam or gets trapped and it turns evil, fam. I don't know. I might I be know. done I, I, with Star Wars and <laughs> all of it, fam. Because that will blow my whole dog, fam. Yeah. Them I mean, wolves are on that side for a reason, fam. I mean, I thought they were, like like I said, until you mentioned it to me, it was just like, okay, these are just... I came to a conclusion that they might be guardians to the temple. And and the entrance and the portal, the door. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's like the title says, wolves uh, and in a door. So, but now that you mentioned that, I was like, oh, yeah, because you know these guys are known for doing stuff like that. So. The, thing, all right, the only thing that makes me think that maybe they're not on the dark side is when he opened the door, they walked off. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, they walked off. Like, they was by the dark side, but they walked off. And we didn't see anything else move. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, if the owl flew off the other direction, I'd be more on this, right. that it's dark side. I'm not 100% right. saying it's dark side stuff, but they was by the oh, brother. There's a possibility. There's they was by the brother. Right. Get me. So, so that's where I'm at, fam. But this is, like, I'm telling you, yeah, this, this, episode, this episode bangs is, with zero action. Oh, man. And they brought in Palpatine. 
Bruv, do you know what? Yeah, I'm not even guessed about that because I think we probably won't. I don't think we're going to see him again, yeah? And if we do, I'm sh- it's going to be the same. Like the small little cameo, like right. him showing up to me, it was good to see him, yeah, but, but at the same time, I was just like. See, but what, he played, what, what interested me mo- the most uh, seeing him is that he's, he talks about there's been a disturbance. a disturbance in the force after Kanan's death. So soon, whenever something happens, right? Uh, whenever uh, you save a life yeah. or someone dies, it changes the course. Yes. And he's like, I don't know the outcome of this. Like, he seems pretty worried, fam, to be. Fam. He did seem worried, fam. You know what I mean? Yeah, fam. Because, so, obviously, like, he's over there on Coruscant having visions of, oh, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And I'm guessing Kanan has thrown that whole thing off by sacrificing himself. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying, yeah? So, that, there's an imbalance in the force somewhere, fam. And the repercussions of this, I'm guessing we haven't seen yet. No. Nope. Get me? Like, nope. something's going to happen, fam. <laughs> Is, Something is gonna is happen, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? So peak. it's mad, like, but I'm I'm ready for this next episode, fam. I'm I'm ready, fam. I don't know what else was there, fam. Yo, it's it's we're definitely there. We're there. We're there. See, listen. We're there. And and are we though? Are I, we? I, I we have because this have, next episode. How many episodes we have left? We have four. About, four, episodes. four episodes left, and so we've got one, one, and then we've got three coming. All on a, all, all in all one, on, all in one go, like, so a, like movie. a movie, hundred percent movie, yeah, hour and a half. Yo, fam. It's it's peak, it's peak, fam. it's peak. Like definitely the next look from this episode, all the way through. There because, can't be anything. There nah, can't be no water I'm down gonna, or nothing. I'm gonna disagree with you because this episode was so peak. I think next episode's gonna be a bit, a what, bit watered down. Watered down. Do you know what? Do you know? No listen, way. this is no what's way. gonna make me sick. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ezra just went through the door. Mm-hmm. The next episode is going to be 100% outside of the temple with Sabine. Why? And Hera. Fam, this, I'm just, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. I have got no insider knowledge. Yeah. But this from mm-hmm. their track record, this is what I would think would happen. Like everyone's, it's just going to be a, oh, Ezra's stuck in the temple. What are we going to do? Oh. And then the last, the movie. Then that's everything. All right. well, I hope not. I hope not, guys. I guess we'll have to see. Uh, Guys, jump in the comment section below as usual and let us know your thoughts. Paragraphs after paragraphs after paragraphs, okay? If you've heard anything, uh, what you agree, what you disagree, what you like, what you didn't like, let us know everything in life because... It's peak, right? It's peak. It's mad peak, bro. It's mad. But other than that, I'm Raven the GS. I'm Joe, one third of the Cybernets. And we'll see you at the next Sith Temple episode. (laughs) 